Have you ever dealt with a hater, online or offline? Someone who just refuses to accept what you do. Someone who will criticize even your best moments. They'll say negative things about you. They'll say negative things about your work. They'll curse you out. Sometimes you'll take offense to what they say, and it feels personal every time. As if you did something wrong when you were trying to do the right thing. As if they specifically chose you. But you are not alone. Everyone has haters. My life be like ooh, ah, yeah, ooh, my life be like ooh. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you may be watching this. So how you guys doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. Well guys, first off, I want to start off with, I really, really appreciate you guys. You guys have been giving us tremendous support, watching our videos, commenting, saying all nice things. But I knew the day would come when we would come across a hater it has finally happened we got our first hater our first hate comments and I guess they say if you don't have any haters you're doing something wrong so I guess we're doing something right because we finally got our first haters so I guess that's a good thing right <laughs> yeah so let's let's check out how this how it all came about okay guys so here we are on my channel and let me scroll down here so it was actually the pokemon go uh video that we posted recently the other day so i was checking my cell phone and i get notifications when people comment on my videos so let me just pause this because this is gonna play so i see here <laughs> mention his name don't you think it's better to get subscribers if people like your videos, not hot subscribers on Facebook, sub for subgroups, lame, just lame, stop vlogging, serious, okay. So, when you build, when you create something, okay, whether it's a business, a YouTube channel, you're trying to get people to, uh, you know, a birthday party, whatever it is, you, you want to basically go out there and share with others what you have going on. Okay, so I go on Facebook, I use social media platforms, I use other platforms to get people to my video, to see my content on my YouTube channel, okay? So, sub for subgroups, yes, everybody has their take on sub for subgroups. I'll put a, a card up there, a link up there for you guys to take a look at a video that I made talking about Facebook and sub for sub. I'm not going to go into that whole thing today in this video, but anyways... Take a look at that. So, so he's hating because he says I go into sub for subgroups. First of all, I interact with my people. I don't go looking for sub for subs. Okay, I go and I interact with my people. If I like their channel, I'll subscribe, become a, a subscriber. If I don't, I eventually will unsubscribe. People subscribe to my channel if they like it, they become subscribers. If not, they unsubscribe. Okay, I'm not looking for just subs. I'm looking to interact with people uh, that will eventually become loyal subscribers, like you guys that are watching me right now, all right? So this is what he was talking about. He thought I deleted his comments, but no, YouTube actually put it up here as likely spam, okay? So that's, uh, that's one thing right there. And I usually don't make videos like this. I'm just going to do it because of the benefit of the doubt that I got my first hater and I'm excited about it, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, even though it's stupid and people say I just ignore it and delete it, but why not? I'll just make a video one time. Let's continue reading. Uh, so I said, not sure what you're talking about. I never delete anything. Why are you hating, you know? Then I put, wow, my first hater, they always told me if I don't have haters, I'm doing something wrong. Well, I guess I'm doing something right. Congratulations, you're my first hater. So he says, yeah, your first hater with several accounts ready to dislike your horrible videos. And you dislike your horrible videos 
you got no style, and your your intro is just horrible. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. Whack. That's what they talk about my intro. So I put, ha, 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 you know my intro well. I'm glad you're watching my videos. By the way, YouTube blocked your comment as spam, not me. I don't need to delete hater comments. And please do dislike all my videos as you will get me more views and more interaction with my video. So please do that. Thanks, hater. Now, I'm not going to sit here and read everything. You guys can go ahead and check this out for yourself. Go ahead and put a, a little link up here somewhere that's gonna take you to my the Pokemon Go video, and that's where he left the comments. So, but anyways, guys, just any in general, anything that you do in life that you're gonna have success with, you're going to have haters. It's gonna happen. Whether you're a baseball player, a movie star, a YouTuber, you know, working in your job and you have a higher position that, than someone else that has a lower position in school, you know, you could be the class president. There's going to be people that are going to hate on you. It's okay. Let those haters hate so they can watch your success continue to grow. Okay? So don't worry about it. Uh, you know, if you got them haters, ignore them. Don't affiliate with you, yourselves with them because you're going to come, come across haters that are in your close surrounding. It's going to happen. You know, that's just part of life. But turn that into a positive and watch this clip that I found on YouTube that explains more about haters, okay? So, I'll see you guys on the next video. Like I said, I don't like doing these videos like that. I like to stay positive, but got my first hater, so let's get a dab. Ba, ba, ba. Three dabs. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, dislike, whatever you want to do. You guys are great. I appreciate you guys. Love you. Take care. But you are not alone. Everyone has haters. Look around you. Look at the most famous people in your field. They have haters. Look at famous celebrities in TV and movies. They have haters. Political leaders, yeah, they have haters. Famous athletes, trust me, they have haters too. Anyone who has worked hard and received a little bit of recognition is bound to have at least one hater. And that's because people get jealous. They wish they could do what you are doing. They probably never even made an attempt to achieve their goals. And that's 100% certain. You know why? Because if they were actually chasing after their goals, they wouldn't have time and energy to hate on you. They would be too busy pursuing their dreams. But they're not. Instead, they spend their time attacking someone who is out there pushing it to the limit. It may seem like there are so many haters out there, but they are the vocal minority. Most people will appreciate your work if it's coming from the right place. If you're trying to do something important, create art, help people, solve problems, or just achieve your own personal goals, you are doing something good for the world. Positivity spreads. Your success will help others have success. When you get haters, you should see it as a good thing. That means you've built up a level of success or even just a work ethic that other people can't match. So what do you do about haters? If it's online, you ignore it, delete it, send it to the spam folder, block them, forget them. It's easily ignored and quickly forgotten.